Hi, my name's Eric Worthen. I'm coming at you from the CNM Diesel Lab. Today we're going to be looking at a turbocharger and how it works. But before we understand how it works, we have to know what pieces it has. So I always like to start here with our bearing housing. Our bearing housing houses two bearings that are always lubricated by the engine oil system. The reason we need these bearings is to support the shaft that rotates as our turbocharger operates. A turbocharger is nothing more than an engine driven air compressor. We use exhaust gas to spin this air compressor. So this flange here would bolt to the exhaust manifold of your engine and anytime the engine's running our exhaust gas has to flow through this exhaust housing and around the turbine on our turbocharger. Remember the turbine's always the thing that we put energy into. So our exhaust gases flow through this turbo charger and act on the turbine causing this turbine to spin. This is where the fun noises start and all the horsepower is made. So as this turbine starts to spin, our exhaust continues to flow out the exhaust through our after treatment and out the tailpipe. And as that's happening, we're turning our compressor that's drawing fresh air in from the outside of the engine. So as I spin the compressor on the uh, intake side, we can watch our exhaust turbine spin just like it would be when the engine's running. If we take a look here at the intake side of our turbocharger, we can see the main parts that make up the cold side. We call this the cold side because it's drawing in fresh, cool air from the outside of the truck. Um, this compressor housing makes up the exterior surface of our cold side, and inside of it, we can see our compressor wheel. This compressor wheel is what actually allows our turbocharger to be an air compressor. So as the exhaust gas is spinning our turbine and the compressor wheel spinning, we're drawing fresh filtered air through our air filter and into the compressor housing. As the compressor continues to spin, we pressurize the uh, air inside our air compressor. It sends out here and goes to the intake of the engine. This helps our engine to be more efficient, cleaner, and make more horsepower. We're here with our Cummins X15 engine. It's rated at 565 horsepower. Now that we're taking a look at the engine, we can see the turbocharger a little bit better. So here's the bearing housing we were looking at on the table. Here's our compressor housing on the cold side of the turbocharger. We can see here where it draws its fresh air in, then sends it out to be cooled as it goes into the engine. Here's our exhaust housing. So as our exhaust leaves the engine through the exhaust manifold, it goes through the turbocharger and out the tailpipe. Now we're gonna go around to start the engine. Thanks for watching. Come back for more videos on diesel technology.